Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Oracle. In this screencast, I will give you a quick introduction to Faces Flow and show some code samples. Faces Flow is a new feature introduced as part of JSF 2.2, which will be released as part of the Java E7 platform. Faces Flow provides an encapsulation of related views and pages with an application defined entry and exit points. For example, if you have a checkout cart in your application that can consist of the cart page, credit card details page, shipping address, and confirmation page. All these pages, along with their required resources and beans, can be packaged together as a module, which can then be reused in other applications. So you truly follow the dry principles of don't repeat yourself. Now the flow-based technologies such as ADF Taskflow, Spring Webflow, and Apache MyFaces Kodi have already existed for quite some time. And now these are being standardized as part of JSF 2.2. Let's take a look at the working code first. Let's say this is our main application. In the application, we have the concept of main application, of course, and then explicitly defined entry point. Now, in our case, we can say enter flow one, and this is our explicit entry point. As soon as I click on the button, you see the page background is changed red. That is just to indicate that we are in a flow now. We have first page in the flow here. We have a corresponding backing bean, and it also says has a flow, which is true. Click on next. We are still in the same flow. The page color is being red. We see the flow bean name. We can enter some values here and then click on next. The value that we entered stayed in the scope of the flow and that is being already displayed over here. Now here is my explicit exit point from the flow. So if I click on home, it takes me back to the main application. So explicitly define entry and exit point and then the entire module is reusable. Now let's take a look at the code in the IDE. In NetBeans, this is my Maven project, web pages. If I take a look at my index.xhtml, this is, it says outside of flow, that's my main application. Here I have two buttons, for example. Stay is to, you know, think about in an application other buttons that are doing other things that are not part of the flow. That's what the stay button is simulating here. But this is my explicitly defined entry point with the action says flow one. Now flow one refers to the directory flow one here. And as you can see, this directory has three pages. Now, if this directory has a page, which is the same name as a directory, which is flow one dot XHTML, that by conventions become my starting point. So if I take a look at this page, here we say first page in the flow, I'm displaying my bean name, which is my backing bean. So if I click on that, this is a CDI bean, we marked it name, so which is um, EL injectable. Now flow scoped is a new annotation that is introduced in the, um, in, in the JSF 2.2 specification. This is basically defined as a CDI scope and this enables that the bean is automatically activated and passivated as the scope is entered and exited. So it's really cool. You just define the flow scope bean and the values are automatically preserved across the scope. As you get out of the scope, the bean is automatically disabled for you. We also have some new EL expressions here. So it kind of returns a value whether flow handler dot current flow exists, true or false, and we are returning null, we're comparing to null, and that gives us an idea over here. Then we go to the next page in the flow, which is flow one A. Now flow one A is in the same directory and so it continues to be part of the flow. Let's take a look at flow one A here. Now again, I'm displaying the bean name here. Here is a new EL expression, flow scope. It allows you to store the value in an expression language itself. So you can say, I am I want to take a text input and I want to bind it to flow scope dot value. Well, we'll use this value, we'll display this value in the next page. And here again, once I have my navigation buttons, it says on next is flow one B. So if I go to flow one B here, once again, B name. Now, first of all, I'm displaying the flow scope dot value. These values exist only during the flow. And then here is my explicitly defined exit point. So if I say action equals slash index, then that's what really goes to my index.xhtml right here itself. 
So you can see a very simple sample, but shows you how to define flows. Now let's take a look at another sample that shows exactly how to do multi-flows. So for example, in an application, you have flow one and flow two, and how you can pass values between them, etc. So that is my second sample then. Let's right click here and run it. And now similar application, but I can explicitly enter flow one or flow two. These are completely reusable modules. So you can take and all the resources required for enter flow one, package them as a jar file or a zip file, and then they can be utilized in other web applications as well. So let's click on enter flow one first. Once again, we see the red color has a flow with a backing bean. Click on next. I can enter some values. The values are persisted. I can explicitly get out of this flow. I want to keep moving here. And here my flow ends. Now either I can return back to my page or I can return, I can enter flow two. So you can go from one flow to another flow. So let's explicitly enter flow two here. As you can see, you can pass parameters from flow one. So parameter one value from flow one. This is the value and similarly parameter two value is being passed as well, which is like this. Now this is the first page in flow two and you can see there's a corresponding new backing bean as well. So now here I can go to non flow. For example, there are mechanisms defined for that too. click on next. I can keep going in within the flow two itself. I can enter say Duke two here, click on next. The values are defined over here and I can enter flow one or I can go back to home from here. So very simple. Let's take a look at the corresponding code now. So here I have two directories, flow one, flow two. Here I have index.xhtml page. This is where I can return from. This is my non-flow page. You could have multiple pages packaged in your application and there are different mechanisms defined for that. In flow one, that stays as is. There is a flow one.xhtml, which becomes my default starting page for the flow. And then I have flow two. Now I can define the, let's say if I don't want to follow the conventions for some reason, then I can explicitly define the flow of the page. So if I look at, um, and that is actually defined by directory name dash flow.xml. So in this case, flow two dash flow.xml. I go down, you can see there's a metadata defined here. I can define the flow definition. I can say, you know, what do I want to do if there is a return from the page? I can define some inbound parameters. I can define outbound parameters. I can say I want to call flow one from flow two. So it's a full metadata that you can describe here, which will define how the flow will look like. If I look at the source packages, I can also define this flow using a uh, flow definition, which is yet another new annotation introduced in JSF 2.2. I can define the flow. It's a builder API. So I have a flow builder. I can say this is my starting node. This is my return node, what the parameters are. I want to call flow two. All of that can be very easily defined over here. Flow one bean, very simple. Just define in flow scoped. Similarly, flow to bean flow scoped and you define the identifier of the flow two over here. This um, these samples would work on um, Glassfish 4.0 build 72, but they require a um, couple of jars to be patched. My blog, uh, which is at blogs.oracle.com slash Arun Gupta has more details on what needs to be patched. But if you are seeing this um, sometime after uh, first or second week of February, then you would not need that patching. So just a regular Glassfish 4 promoted build would work fine for you. So hope you had fun and will able be able to use uh, Faces Flow in your applications.